Dear brothers and sisters, I'd like to give the last word in regards to this campaign. I am speaking to you in order to set the record straight. Any statements I have made in this campaign are backed up by documentary evidence. They have been made well in advance of the ballot drop. There was ample time for my opponent to refute or provide evidence to the contrary. He has not. I have been fair in my exposure of his breaches of ethics. He has remained silent on his record. He instead chose to wait till the last second to publicly make his claims. He puts things out in the 11th hour so there would be no time to respond. He has provided no evidence of any claims. He has outright lied or lied by omission of fact. He is desperate and has made the play of a desperate politician. If things were as he claims, then he has been remiss in his duties to correct. He would be obligated to state such matters publicly as part of his presidential duties, yet he is not. He instead decided to put out poisonous campaign literature in a last-ditch attempt to save a failed presidency and campaign. As far as allegations of temper, I state this. If it were as he states, why would Paul Kilduff have me do the sensitive negotiations of our local agreement? Why would Paul Kilduff have me represent and negotiate at the highest and most professional step in any procedure we engage in, arbitration, if he did not know and recognize my abilities to get the job done by whatever it takes, diplomacy, aggression, and presentation of fact? Why would Paul Kilduff ask a maniac to do his own sister's EEO case like he asked me to do? In regards to expenditures, here are the facts. The local was defending the union's right to investigate free of retaliation. Because I was digging deep, I was the one retaliated against. The local officers all voted to defend this issue with the expenditure, including Paul Kilduff. To bring this up six years later shows his lack of integrity as he now slams what he himself approved. His flip-flopping for personal gain has already been discussed in this election. In regards to bids, just look at his own emails where the subject matter is bids. He states he will keep these idiots under control. I won't let anyone piss you off when they were expressing outrage on the bids. He states he has the management officials back who screws up the bids, not those trying to rectify them. His emails show his involvement in bids behind his own team's back and protection of management when grievance activity was initiated. One need to look no further than his own words to know the truth. To say I don't meet with management is an outright lie. I meet whenever necessary and appropriate. However, I do not run like a lapdog to meet their needs. I meet when it is in the best interest of the membership. I do not meet for hugs. Any reference to Tour 3 GMF is offensive. This is where I made my bones, and they are my most staunch supporters. Lastly, I am not a full-time official. I am on the workroom floor, subject to postal rules and regulations. I have a 3972. I am willing to share it. My attendance exceeds his running mates. I have a record of successful contract negotiations. I have a record of precedent-setting arbitration decisions. I have a record of obtaining unique settlements at all steps in the grievance procedure. I have a record of success in those other forums which create great leverage against the Postal Service, the National Labor Relations Board, EEO, Unemployment, I also do IODs. Don't believe the last second, bomb tossing, venomous rhetoric put forth at the last second meant only for shock value. A cornered rat is the most dangerous rat. It will do whatever to survive. In this instance, it is sensationalist falsehoods. Please vote to change how we do business. Let's get our local back. Vote Scott Hoffman, General President. Thank you.